Hey, that ain't Mike could do it better. I ain't tripping off all that shit. What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Rich and Faith TV, man. And I got Dylan in the building, straight from Louisiana. Pop this shit, man. New Orleans, specifically, okay. Louisiana. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're the second Louisiana artist, female artist that we had on the show. So, we, our fans like y'all. Y'all talk pretty nice. They like the lingo, they like the vibes. So, um, how long have you been doing R&B music, exactly? Exactly, um, maybe about professionally. About four years mm -hmm. professionally um, in the game. I've been singing since what five. Started in a choir in church. Then after that, I went to school for singing. Uh, I did opera, and then um, after that, quit school and decided to do full out R and B. That's real. That's real. That's real. So I see you do a lot of performances, and also you do a lot of cover ups. Is doing cover ups is that like a way for you to like practice your craft as an artist? Yeah, it kind of give you. It kind of give you more of insight on where you're trying to go and mm -hmm. what you want to do, but at the same time, it gives you the opportunity to find what you want to do and put it into your own little flavor. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like mainly why I do cover songs sometimes. I don't, I'm not big on them too much anymore, but I'll do it to you know add a little spice if the people want to hear it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I notice a lot of R&B artists. Um, especially female artists, I see that they do a lot of cover-ups for um, mm -hmm. for other people and other events and other venues. So um, I was doing my research about you. I seen that you're a big fan of Frank Ocean. Yes. And when he came out <laughs> about him being whatever he is, mm -hmm. he felt very, he was very adamant about that. So um, how do you feel about the LGB community? Did I say it right? The LGBTQ community? Yeah, LGB, yeah that's what I mean. How you feel about I that? love really? them. Yeah. Um, I'm happy now that it's a, it's something that they are afraid of because they are, they are bold, they they have no um limits. So with them coming out, it's just like all right, they're making people more aware to really. You don't have to be gay. You don't have to do what they do, but it it allows you to be more aware of this what you could be and you could stand on it and you could do whatever it is that you want to do so that's why i was so when i did that <laughs> cover and i had to add the little part to it i said dang like it's okay to do this and still do whatever it is that you want to do so that's like one of my main things of just stepping out and doing you and being yourself so when frank ocean did that day i was like he took a chance and the thing about it till this day people still have love for him and show respect to him with his music, and he's not even barely on the scene. So yeah, I, I feel that for that. So when are some times when you have to show resilience when it comes to being yourself? What times? Yeah, what times? Um, mainly when I'm like in a vulnerable place, or when I have to put myself in a position. Usually, when I feel like when I'm performing, for instance. Usually when I feel a crowd, that's the time I'm like, okay, if I feel this certain type of energy, that's the time I know when to be. This is where I'm at. This is where I'm. This is what I'm doing. This is why I'm here. So that's that really puts me in that that state of mind of um kind of feeling and going off people energy. Mm -hmm. So you you come from a background of singers. You you shared with me that your mother was a singer. Mm -hmm. So how do y'all bond? What type of bond do y'all have when it comes to you? She's been a singer. You've been a singer. She, okay, so my mom, she's been singing since a kid. She was doing talent shows. She was doing um, just all type of stuff. Her favorite singer was Tina, Tina Marie. She, that's, every, when everybody heard her sing, they knew it was like, that's, that's Terry. Terry could sing like her. But me and the bond that we have, um, so she didn't finish singing, but she, uh, she eventually stopped when she had two kids, which was me and my sister. And after that, it was like, okay, my sister sing, but she don't, you know, take it seriously. Then, then that was me. So when I started doing it, I think picked this up from me. But then when I started to grow into it, I think she was scared, and that caused her to be a little bit like, all right, you trying to get in the music industry? That's music business overall is not. I don't want you. I don't want to see my child hurt. So the support wasn't really there because it was just like, this is something I really 
she wanted me to do, but she didn't. She wanted me to do whatever she wanted me to do, which was go to school, get a job, work for corporate. Like that wasn't my thing. And you know, I, I it was hard for me because it was like I didn't have the like my mom was a singer. I'm expecting that same support. So it's like okay. I want that support, but you don't even want me to do what I really love. Like, if you stop, why well, can't you finish? You know what I'm saying? So, for me, the bond now is it's good now. It's still progressing. It's just a mother still don't ever want to see her child get hurt. But it's just like, that's the growing pain. That's just life overall. Like, I feel like in the long run, if you determine about something, you're going to always go against what your parents say regardless. And you're going to learn from whatever they was right about. But at the end of the day, if you, like I said, if you're determined about it, it's going to work out. And they're going to be happy when you cut the check. Yeah, exactly. So. always <laughs> happy when the money comes in. Exactly. It's always happy. So, um, what type of message can you put out to the younger women for them to have confidence in themselves and everything that they do? To be honest with themselves first. Please be honest with yourself. Um, to not look for validation and what others want and what people want. I feel like in this industry, you're going to have your tests and you're going to have your trials to where it's like, should I do this to get where I need to be? You're going to have to, it's going to be some hard questions that you have to ask yourself. So I think um, working within yourself to gain that type of confidence and be, to be honest with yourself, you um, you just have to have a certain level of respect overall for yourself. And then once you know that, you, it's, it's easy. And it's hard. It's hard sometimes. But I think just having, just being honest and open, that's what for anybody, but for women specifically, it's hard enough that we get, we just go through everything. <laughs> like, we we go through everything, and we always get bashed for everything. So it's just like, it's hard enough for us to be women as is. So to, like I said, to just have, to be honest with yourself first, and it's good to even ask yourself questions. Why do I do the things that I do? Why do I need to dress like this or be like this to get this? You really have to go deep into those questions to get an understanding of who you want to be, wherever you're trying to go. So that's my message. So how do you feel like you can be a positive influence in the women you situation? I don't know what's this about, <laughs> but um, like just basically be a positive influence for the younger women um, to want to do things different. To know that they don't have to show their body just to get a record deal, just to get a light. Because um, I see that you don't show your body, you don't really go that route, you know what I'm saying? So, how did you, what did it start that into you? That's something your mother taught you? Um, yes and no. Some things my mom taught me, some things um, I taught myself, I guess, because my mom always, my mom would say, you kind of are what you wear, meaning, you know, if you look like this, that's that's who they're going to think you are. That's not always the case. If I wear something that's revealing, for me personally, I'm wearing it because, first of all, this is what I want to wear. Second of all, it's just what I want to wear. Um, it's not for nobody. Now, a lot of women, they, you know, they do them. They, you know, they do want it for attention. And, you know, like a lot of girls getting their butts done and et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of times they, it's said for women to me, this is my personal opinion. It's said that, oh, we do it for ourselves. But at the same time, to me, it's like a contradiction. You say you do it for yourself, but when a man approaches you a certain type of way, you don't know how to act. So it's like, what are we missing here? You know what I'm saying? It, it just, it, it plays a role when you, how you present yourself. And I'm all for it. You can wear what you want. But at the same time, you just gotta know how to move. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta know how to represent yourself in a way like people still gonna respect you. Cause I can wear whatever. People will respect me. And like you guys, anybody at home, they're they're gonna respect me. You know, they could give me, you know, give me the little compliments. Don't even go out your way to say, you know, if, if even if the compliment is disrespectful, I will let them know. Like that wasn't cool, but so that's why that's how I'm coming with it. Okay, so why do you think women feel like they need validation? insecurities daddy issues um it's a whole lot of things that we go through that's not i mean i feel like it's it's starting to be talked about now but it's so much stuff that's being on 
social media. Like, social media is a, a given and a curse. Like, it's good, but at times it's bad. We on social media so much, so a lot of times we think that's what we're supposed to be doing. You see everybody with a Coke bottle, you're going to be thinking, oh, shoot, I might need to get that. And I've even had that feeling before sometimes. I'm like, damn, I wish I had a, a big booty. And I'm like, but the attention that it gives is just like, all right. Do I really want that for real? And my thing is, it's easy to get a body like that. You just go get a membership. Yeah. Like, literally. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's it's just, it, 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 it could be a lot of issues with women that make them feel like they need validation. So, it could just be, it's just, it's a way a lot. For well, artists like yourself, that has a lot of music, but don't drop a new song every week, how do you keep your fans' interest? Usually... I just make my presence known by um, posting my songs that I've uh, already done. Um, sometimes just going up to support the other, just being present, posting anything to stay relevant. Because what I notice is you don't really have to post. Really, like if you even if you don't post, you don't have to post everything every day. It just depends on it. De it depends on really what you're doing. I feel like if I'm not really doing anything, I'll promote my song a little bit. But when I'm focused on something, I'm focused on something. So a lot of times, like it's a time to give your energy to social media because it's like, what's the point of posting so much and you're not really doing anything behind closed doors? You know, people see you posting, but are you really doing something to give us more? So a lot of times, like, you know, people always be like, oh, you know, what's she doing? Like, where's she, where's she at? And they think you're not doing anything because you're not on social media but a lot of times that don't even be the case it's like i'm trying to give content to give y'all and to stay relevant so y'all could want more so it's it's a balance between the two like you you just you gotta really know outside of what you're doing rather than oh i'm just about to post but you're not really doing them behind closed doors a person told me told me he said what you do behind Close those again. Yeah. It matters. Yeah. Like if that's the when people not looking, it matters. Yeah. And it shows. It shows. People know when you're not doing nothing. People know when you just doing whatever. So it it, it it shows to me. So I don't necessarily think you always have to be on Instagram all day. You know what I'm saying? Your stuff right there, people still able to look at it, then it's right there. But sometimes you gotta give it a break to really focus and tune in on your craft because